Jamal Khashoggi, who was going to marry a Turkish woman who went to the Saudi Istanbul consulate, never re-emerged. The incident was brought to the attention of the necessary organizations and the research and investigations have brought us to the conclusion that Jamal Khashoggi was killed inside the Saudi consulate. Of course, the Saudi officials' announcements and denials also gave us a different concern. And what were these announcements? That Jamal Khashoggi had left the consulate. These announcements are very funny. Jamal Khashoggi, someone like him, he's going to leave the consulate and he's not going to go meet his fiance waiting for him? Is this possible? These childish announcements are not serious announcements and announcements that a statesman or a country should make. Of course, security, intelligence, and judicial investigations have enlightened what happened. And we see now an important Saudi official also said he's dead and this is very clear. But where is his body? You have to show us his body. You're saying that he left here. If he left, show us. They don't have proof. And also 15 plus three people. In the end, they accepted 18 people were arrested. And I learned this directly from King Salman. Now, this question arises. These 18 people, they know these 18 people who killed, ordered the death of Jamal Khashoggi. There is no other explanation because the suspect is amongst these people. If they're not amongst these people, then who's a local collaborator? You have to, you have to announce this. If you don't announce this, then if you don't announce this, Saudi Arabia cannot escape these allegations. And now, we wonder, and those who wonder, we are giving we are giving copies of all the original documents. And when people see these documents, they are surprised. The words they use are very interesting because it's not a normal situation. Those who committed the crime are obvious. Well, who gave the order? The 15 plus 3. Who gave the order for these 15 people to come to Turkey? Friday. They came. The ones that came here. And then after them. Monday night to Tuesday morning. The ones who came. Who sent them here? And this, the officials need to give an explanation of this. Of course, it's not like we don't have other evidence. But there's no need to be hasty. In the first stage, the Saudi officials need to tell us who killed Khashoggi. Monday, they are sending the chief prosecutor to Turkey, and he will meet our chief prosecutor in Istanbul, and they will have a meeting.
With Khashoggi's murder in question, once again, we're joined by former UK MP George Galloway to discuss. All right, George, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more from President Erdogan at this stage, considering all the talk of a big reveal coming down today. What was your reaction to his speech? Well, Erdogan is definitely doing the dance of the seven veils. Uh, who knows when the final veil will be uh, revealed? and cast off, but uh, there's no doubt that he's got the goods. Um, I know for certain, because someone close to me has heard the goods, uh, that he has them. Uh, he's Meaning the negotiating, tapes? I presume, behind the scenes. Uh, the price will be going up because, frankly, if this audio is released, if the full picture is released, it'll be the most devastating video and audio of the 21st century. It's said that the Crown Prince himself had a conversation, a Skype conversation, with uh, Khashoggi before he was executed. And it's said that the chief of the Crown Prince's office uh, gave the order over Skype to bring me the head of the dog. All of this, of course, utterly devastating to the West's key ally in the war on Yemen, in the war on Syria, and the uh, key bankroller of Western politicians and media outlets all over the world doesn't get much more serious than this. Shakespeare couldn't have written this story. It's Macbeth <laughs> on steroids, right down to the... Bir de gitmek istemediğini söylemesi şu anda gittikten sonra, özellikle Amerika gelişikten sonra kendisiyle alakalı olarak söylenen işte arkadaşlarının çok büyük bir kısmı kendisinden sonra içeriye alınanlardan acaba hani konsoloslukta kendisini gerçekten beklemediği bir şeylerin olma ihtimali olabilir mi diye bir takım sorularda sorduğunu biliyorum. Ama tüm bunlara rağmen yani tutuklanabileceğine e, dair e, tutuklanabileceğini e, demek doğru olur mu bilmiyorum ama bir sorgu işte ülkesine sorgu. dönmesiyle alakalı bir talep baskı. ve belki bu talebin bir baskı yoluyla gerçekleşmesi gibi bir takım şeyler olabilirdi ve bunu yaşamak istemiyordu. Türkiye'nin güvenli bir ülke olduğunu eğer başına bir alın konulma ya da işte bir sorgulama gibi bir takım e, istenmeyen bir hadise gelmesi halinde de bunun e, hızlı bir şekilde çözüleceğini düşünüyordu. Bunu da söylüyordu zaten. Evet. Yani yani biz bu kadar üzerinde sohbet uzun uzun konuşmalar yapmadık ama ben dedim ki senin çekincelerin tam olarak hangi yönde? Yani senin e, nasıl bir şey başına gelebilir diye e, düşünüyorsun yani çünkü endişeleniyordu yüzündeki gerginliği anlıyordu. They had a very bad original concept. It was carried out poorly, and the cover-up was one of the worst in the history of cover-ups. It's very simple. Bad deal should have never been thought of. Somebody really messed up, and they had the worst cover-up ever. And where it should have stopped is at the deal standpoint, when they thought about it. Because whoever thought of that idea, I think, is in big trouble. And they should be in big trouble, okay?